your topic? Oh, my topic comes from the audience. As always. As always. Not always. We we most of the time. We 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 had a topic uh, I think last week from Patreon or this week from Patreon. Yeah. It was last from week. the audience. From the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's our audience. The, my topics a lot of times come from Twitter. Remember, guys, if you want a topic on the show, please tweet at Nick underscore Scarpino uh, with your topic suggestion. I write them all down. Uh, we get to them one by one when we can. I've got a bunch of them, but um, I will get your topic hopefully eventually. Uh, like at Mick Beardo. Or Mike Beardo, depending on. He doesn't have an E in it. Remember when I asked you if you could read your own handwriting? I did. I just didn't write an E. Sure you didn't. But I think it's Mike. Uh, If you were in a video game, what would your signature move be? It's like a video game... Oh, is it a fighting game? Is it a third person game? What are we doing here? I'm going to go with my one of the only games that I play that have signature moves, which is Smash. So if you were a character in Smash, what would your move be? Jesus Christ. What's yours? Have you thought about it? Yeah, I have thought about it. Lay it down. It would have to be a projectile move. It would have to be a a long range, a range move. Uh, I would have to be able to sit on the side of a of a of the screen and yeah. and shoot it at you. And I think my move would be the shooter. You stealing my moves? Yeah, I'm stealing your move. I just stole it. What are you shooting? Just bullets at you at your out head, of your fingers. Your face, yeah. That's gross. Like cyborg. Well, that's that's like that's completely different. That Energy wasn't blast. at all what you just said. No, no. What if you were a wrestler? What would your move be? What would you? What, I was a professional wrestler. It's yeah. the Greggy Gia team. That that's already done. I I have twenty four hours of backyard wrestling tapes in that closet. <laughs> what is the Greggy Gia? The Greggy Gia team is actually I I stole it from, oof, probably WrestleMania two thousand. The the when you go through you know you unlock all the moves for your created characters, and I started using it in backyard wrestling because I just for a long time had the stunner. I just stole the Stone Cold stunner, kick you in the drop you into the stunner, and then that was the, just that's I mean you're not even trying on that one. You just straight up well guess what? That. There's only so many moves. Especially for there's out of shape inf- backyard wrestlers, an infinite amount of moves that you could have chosen from. So basically, the Greg Guillotine is similar, right? So okay. I would you you can I, do it on Portilla. Yeah, I grab I grab him by the arm, I pull him up, and then I put him up in the fireman's carry like this. Mm-hmm. So they're up there like this in, in the yeah. fireman's carry. I got yeah. him in the rack, and then I'd kick him out into the stunner. So imagine I throw Portilla's butt out back towards that, and then his. Of course, these aren't your. You have longer arms. Yeah, your arms aren't draped across my chest, his chest like his. Mm-hmm. But you kick him out, and then you. Fall into the stunner like that. Which and the stunner is what? It's exactly. a stone cold stunner. He, really, is that, he enjoyed that very You much. kick him in the gut. It was, uh, uh, hey, you want to get up and I'll is do that it. You? He, oh, it's when he goes like this. Yeah, he right. Down on it. You yeah. have him down that. And I, you land in you land in the like a sitting position with your legs extended on the oh, ground. I the other see. guy lands on his knees with his basically guillotine right. over your shoulder. Okay, I like that. And he pops off and falls. So down. you have a little it's a little variation on There's the There's a theme flourish there. There's a flourish there. Like they made that. it not just a stone cold stunner rip off anymore. I and it just that. became this WrestleMania two thousand video game move rip off. It must have been NWO Revenge, maybe. WCW NWO Revenge. Because it was I had it for, for a long time. There's only a couple BYW BYWFs where I didn't have the great guillotine, and I just used the stunner instead. I eventually figured it out. Though. I like this though. I like that. My other one, since we, it was backyard wrestling, right? Now, of course, this is a com- we, you know, BYWF Backyard Wrestling Federation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. not a creative name at all. We weren't creative. We didn't know. It's one of those things when you start it's, something. It's a little more creative than the worldwide. What, what is it? World WWD World Wrestling World Wrestling Federation World Wrestling Federation. Whatever. Yeah. Um, since we would wrestle in the front yard for our week to week show, mm-hmm. and then our pay per views were in the backyard. Did you actually charge people for that? No, we never. These these tapes, these we didn't tell anybody about. It. You didn't show anybody these. You're a bunch of. <laughs> you didn't show your girlfriend like you showed your action figure. I think I showed one girlfriend it. I did. I do remember she came over and she wanted to go out, and I was like, I'm exhausted. We just did a backyard wrestling thing. I showed her a tape, and she, it was weird. She, she was like, all right. She, she clapped. Totally she clapped. Up. She clapped and made out with me later. So really? It was fun. Yeah. Wow. Fuck yeah. Good for you. It's huh? part of my thing. I mean, what? Did, and people watch me do dumb stuff all the time on this and make out with me later. Um, so this is again. WWF attitude errors happen mm-hmm. at the same time. You may remember uh, The Rock, one of his moves, the People's Elbow. I've never heard of him. The corporate elbow. You remember this? Is he um, is he still relevant today? No, hasn't done anything. Went okay. into a really a bunch of really bad movies. This okay. car franchise just terrible. He's just I don't know what he's doing with this. I don't career. understand why they still make car movies. Anyways, um, he had this move called the People's Elbow where he takes off the yeah. elbow pad, throws it in the crowd, bounces off the ropes b- both times, drops it on somebody. Right? Yeah. What the I would worst. do to what I would do when I needed to lose matches is do the Gre- the Greggy elbow. Did you or guys whatever. decide ahead of time who's going to win? Who's yes. Lose? How do you think we did? How do you think we did anything? It's not. But it's my not question chaos is, out there. We'd go out there. We'd walk through the match. What we want to do? We, have the, we, we had, we had angles. Second. We had feuds. You gotta know who's going to win. Can yes. Back, go, up back, up, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. What was the end goal with taping all of this stuff? Were you to make matches and watch them with your friends? So you showed these to people? No, the friends who were in the federation. <laughs> how many people were in the federation? Oh man. Uh, 15. It was an alternating cast. You had the core group. 
And then you have these hangers on who came by once in a while and did something. Did you at any point want to actually be a professional wrestler? Oh, yeah. You always kick that idea around every so often. Yeah. somebody. You, I, have, the, you have the physical makeup to be a professional I, You could have been. I, well, I know for 80s professional wrestler, yes. Yeah. I could have easily been one of the natural disasters. Me, earthquake, typhoon out there. I could have been a good manager. Still could be if this doesn't work out. But, no. You watched them with the people who were in them. You were putting on the show for each okay, other to I do see. something stupid. There's only so two of them. Like a DVD it, like you, I would think once in a while, like, yeah, that'd be cool. You know what I mean? Like, especially because this is during Mick Foley's, you know, time when he's like they're showing his backyard wrestling but there's like two guys in the federation who really really like thought they were maybe going to do it you know what i mean they, like, did they he get was a doing shot this. oh no 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 of course not can i ask this follow-up question yes please do before i get to call in signature move. sure um do, oh do we also want, have these we, oh, yes they're here in this house right now we once set them to a mod rashad as well because he had he hosted <laughs> he hosted real tv you remember a this mod thing? rashad <laughs> a mod rashad almost got on the air we got a call back from a producer mm-hmm. really yeah wow yeah, that must have been exciting yeah it was, it was the biggest break of our lives that was if only that had worked. Out. Oh, I forgot too. This is this is actually really fun. So you're asking who else saw these things? We wrestled, you know, blah blah, blah with each other, and then we'd show them to each other afterwards. Mm-hmm. I'll hang out, and then we play Grand Theft Auto too. Um, we ha- one of the kids went to another school, and so he would he bootleg the, the whatever he did, make his own copy. Then he'd go to school, and then he'd share them with another kid there who just liked wrestling. Mm-hmm. And that kid then would go home and write his own like report on it. Like he, this is before blogs were easy to yeah, get and do stuff. Right. So this kid would watch it and review match by match, promo by promo, and write it in like a voice, like he had a voice, like he was writing for the dirt sheets or whatever. Oh my god, it was awesome. So you want to talk about having an audience? That one guy, Paul, was amazing. He was killing it, and Paul, no one ever heard from him again. Went to the Air Force, never heard after that. Okay, um, not that I think something bad happened. I just didn't fill out a touch with the other friend. So I want you to mull over this idea. Sure, lay it on. We have technology. Sure. We can digitize digi- the tapes and put digitize them these tapes and sell them as DVDs. The problem with this is the fact that I we then have to start cutting in these other wrestlers. How, who? What's the ownership no, 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 rights? I, yeah, I think you guys you give you give people to split. I do not want to re- I do, for the ten dollars we're going to make off these tapes. I do not want to reach out to these people. Try to find track down Evan Gulling. Whatever happened to him? I don't know. Well, I'm sure you could find him. It's the internet. Yeah. The other thing too is like ma- another reason we didn't show these tapes to many people is imagine first off if you were a kid with a video camera mm-hmm. and you could say whatever you want. Yeah. And then we're making angles. So there was a few character there was a one character who will remain nameless whose whole shtick was that he would fuck your girlfriend. <laughs> and that's how you'd start ma- that's how you'd start new feuds with people cuz basically what would happen is somebody with a girlfriend wouldn't come over one night. We'd cut a, a fake promo where the guy's fucking the girlfriend and then we'd bring that person in, sit them down, make them watch it. Tape. <laughs> so I'm going to ask this question again. You had a lot can of we, time. Huh? Can we you please have digitize some these? of us? And how old were you guys when this was happening? This is through high school, so this so is you guys this like is 14, probably like 16, 14, 18. I no, why? Well, yeah, something like that. I'd probably like we probably started sophomore year, and oh. like it was heavy through junior, and then into senior, it tapered off for a while. I'm going to use my copious free time that I have now that we have this job, and I don't do anything anymore. Yeah, to research this. Okay. Because I want to do, I want to make this. Thing. How many tapes do you think you have? How many hours I, I, of footage? I, there's 24 hours of footage. There's 12 tapes. Oh my god, this is a cool. Moment. And this is all of the footage that exists. Yeah. And this is all the footage you ever did. No one. We did one at the very end, like when we were like, we're gonna get back into it. We did one like return to BYWF Jacked, and it didn't work. Like it was fine, but I never really copied it over. It, it was like Jason we Gantner's absolutely. second match. It was no big deal. We should absolutely we gotta put these save out. these and get them in the Smithsonian as soon as you We got to do something with these. We'll talk offline. I do worry about them breaking down one day or losing. They will. You, well, gotta you, get, should, you, gotta you should digitize them. Yeah, VHS does not. The best was how many times we almost killed each other or something horrible happened. I almost broke my arm once. Yeah. Poe almost broke his ribs, just laid on the ground in pain forever. Did, no- Noonan, who's now a doctor, we almost paralyzed on a coffee can. On a coffee can. Yeah, he got a belly to belly suplex, and no one noticed that he was being tossed onto a coffee can. Like, you remember these old like metal Folgers cans? Not yeah. the pussy ass ones. Now he got tossed right spine, right, right at the base of his if spine. That thing he just is laid like, there. Back break off. If that thing was actually full and, yeah. and not open, because you know that you had to like break the thing off. Yeah. that's a pretty no. It was dense... open, but it's still like it was like right on the edge of like the so- so- side that still had the metal part, so it wasn't gonna come down. Who is another video? guy? Bob jumped off the roof of his van and dislocated his shoulder, but he popped it back in. Oh, nice. Just like just like Briggs from. Lethal Weapon. Exactly. Like Rich from Lethal Weapon. Who was videotaped? Did you have like a cinematographer? No, like a, we all a video, switched a videographer? off. We all switched off. So like you're commentating while videotaping as well. So you're just, oh, walking, you're just right. walking next to the other guy talking and like doing so there's, all stuff. There's a couple things I'd uh, just off the top sure, of my head that go. I would do with this. One, By the way, call this backyard wrestling. <laughs> this is when we do this breakout. <laughs> this is going to be, this is, yeah. This, sorry, sorry, Mike Beard, Beardo. This just became about backyard wrestling. Um, 
two thoughts on it. Sure, One, lay them on me. We can we can get the guys to sign off on it. We put it up online because you know per video you're not making too much. I'm I'm happy to share any. Again, the language them, is going to be a bit more blue than I'd like. Bleep them out. Okay, we bleep it out, or we re-record all 24 hours of it with different actors. Oh sure, we show lines. other people tapes and have them do it. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's lots of stuff we could do with this. I'd Sounds like, like you just. I like. I want you to stew on it. Okay. I want you to stew on it. Okay. Because we have Kevin now. Sure. Now I want you to Kevin of course remember of everything. Now. The athletic prowess I have. Yeah. And just imagine that in motion. It's not like you're getting real WWE stuff here. Sure. You're getting very slow leg drops. I used to cover my mouth after I got my braces off because I was afraid somebody was going to land on my face and fuck up my teeth. Then time time did it by itself. Still, Kevin, let me let's let's get a man. let's get a uh, opinion from the audience here. Kevin, what do you think? Should we forget about this or is there gold here? No, this is gold. This is gold. This is gold. Oh, gold. Kevin Jerry? says this is gold. Uh, I also think that if we plan it correctly, we can put it out as disc sets. Sure. And then lead up to the reunion episode where you all oh get back together God. and you have to do a backyard we wrestling all go match. On a and we park. do it fucking real. Yeah. Like real announcers. We get all of our celebrity friends to come and be in the audience. We get a ring girl you or know, four. I was making fun of this idea in my head because as as we know, there's nothing more popular than DVD box sets today in 2015. I'll tell you that right now. But then, <laughs> we'll have, we'll but then that, that was a Blu-ray. stroke of genius is if we can get all of these guys back. <laughs> Think that's actually it. the that's the nugget. Think about it. That's the idea. Do we want to use? Do we want to talk to all pro wrestling and use their ring, or do we want to do it like legit out in the park? No, we're gonna. I want to go to your. <laughs> my house, house, house doesn't even exist anymore. We're going to your. They knocked it down. Yeah. We can go to my There's parents' house in Riverside. They got a big backyard. Yeah. We'll. Fu- we have to figure out a way to do this as low budge and low fi as possible. Okay. Well, I'm well, sure we can talk. And this and this this can be done, Nick. As we've talked about in the past, this can be done because we're gonna need a solid probably month and a half or two months. Just the, the just in just in Glen just in Glen Ellen the oh, fig- right, right, I right. really want to get down to the to the source of just who Greg is and why he is the way he is and I really think that every time we talk about his childhood we get an inch closer to the answer just an inch closer about the psychoses of Greg Miller and this is just another this is another great example of it. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it goes up there with the peeing on the wall. Yeah. It goes up there with the two, you know, the, the the keeping all your toys sealed up and buying two of each. Of crying on <laughs> innocuous <laughs> Disney rides, of asking if of, your girlfriend wants to play with your toys. Yeah, ask, exactly. That that's in there. Uh, the blue hair, the blue hair, uh, yep. shitting in a planner, mm-hmm. which actually probably happened well in your into your twenties. Yeah, I, I was an adult when that happened. Uh, here's here's a, here's a good backyard wrestling yeah. story for you again. This is this would not only would this develop into an angle for us. That would go on because you know sometimes the best angles came from the ad libs. It would it would also develop into Poe's finishing maneuver. The, or, was uh, it like ever changing? No. Well, this is still when he was wrestling under the name of the Fabulous Gula. <laughs> fabulous Gula. <laughs> the Fabulous Gula. Where did Gula come from? <laughs> oh my God! We should save that story for when Poe's here. Because that's, that's what I'm a, saying. That's Poe's nickname here, before many, Poe. That was like who grade were the core school. guys in this. It was uh, it was me. Well, I mean, really, it was Mike. This guy named Michael Bryan, Jason. I, I need me, wait, 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 wait. Stop. I want everyone's wrestling name in addition to to their real name. They're not that many. They don't. They don't get much crazier. Than, well, Michael Bryan wrestled as Michael Bryan, but he was he was his angle was that he we found it we found a we oh he needed a shirt to wrestle in on mm-hmm. the first one and I had this horrible shirt that had been shipped to me by accident and it, was, it was gothic and it had like it it was for some heavy metal band that had like a, like the Grim Reaper on it and he had all this weird shit so we, we, he then had this angle that he was just a goth he was a gothic kid because he wore that one shirt and then when we got the new camera there was an there was a a bunch of different modes you could put on it and there was one that I forget what they call it where it makes everything look coppery. And like everything else is like black mm-hmm. around him, so yeah. we only shot his promos in that in that filter. <laughs> Did you guys edit this stuff? No, I mean we didn't know how. Like this is like the most basic of edits. You know what I mean? Like it was basically you're yeah. doing the tape edit where you're like, no, roll it back, roll it back. Okay, start here. Yeah, there'd be a, there'd yeah. be a little bit of that, but mainly it was like, all right, we had like the run of show of like, there's this match, there's this promo, there's this match, this match minute, promo. Like that meant that we filmed this match, a promo. This match, this match, this promo. Like there so was you guys no literally live to tape. Like it was almost a live. Oh yeah, event. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you rolled with the punches on whatever happened to this thing. See, so you got about. We'll assume you got about five to six core guys in this. Sure, that's about right. So what I'm what I'm envisioning for this series is that we we do a look back, we do a retrospective on each one of these guys. Sure. Right. <laughs> Uh, and we we start to seed out the actual match. We don't have to put all twenty four hours out. I'm sure, sure there are some matches that oh are there are some stinkers in there better than others, to. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think we we make a compilation set and we build up to the road to backyard wrestling 2016. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and you guys literally, I'm sure you guys will be in probably the same shape as you were back then. Yeah, probably. 
and I, I think it could be fantastic. I want you to just think about it. Okay, I'll think um, about it. Colin, on your note, I, I want to do what you're talking about. I do want to go back and do a retrospective on Greg and interview those people, but I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> What I, what I might find. find. <laughs> I mean, I am, that's the thing is that because like imagine if you go back and you're like, and no one will talk to you about Greg. No one. Like he's a big internet celebrity, and no one and everyone acts like they've never fucking heard of him in his hometown because they're terrified of him because of the one thing. It's not like a small town. You know like you're gonna think? go to a corner shop and everyone. I imagine know me. it's Smallville, and they're like, oh, Greg Miller, oh, man, I wish never heard of like him. Mr. Deeds when they go to the. <laughs> I can't even remember the town's name. What the hell was the town's name? I can't remember anymore. Um, What's up, Deedsy? Um, yeah, I think I, I don't know. I mean, that's one of, that's one of the things I want to do more than everything. We love these video games, all these movies, whatever. But I really want to just tell the story of Greg Miller, and like I think I think to be able to do that, we need time, we need means, and we got to go to Illinois. And I think that that's that's fine with me if we want to do that. But it's going to take us a while. We talk about fucking Ken Burns documentary. This thing's probably going to be thirty hours long. <laughs> I mean, how deep do you really want to get in? I mean, how long do you really want to? How deep do you want to get into this? Well, I you just, need to get uh, into the fabulous Gula, and then the, when he tra- transitioned to just being Poe. Because then, like, Poe's wrestling thing was that he, <laughs> his matches. Why are you changing the subject? It's not about Poe. It's oh, about sorry, you. I'm sorry. I we're <laughs> no, I want to hear. What was Poe's signature move? <laughs> oh, that's a different story. We're, that's still Fabulous Gula. Okay. But Poe's shtick was that, you know, the song Crazy Train, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, yeah. That played, if Poe was in a match, he came out second, and that played the entire time, because that was the tempo we wanted to keep for Poe matches. Okay. And Poe was crazy. Poe would do crazy stuff. All right, man. I, I want to see some of this stuff. I, it's inspiring to me that you guys risk life and limb every weekend and my dad for my, just the 15 of you to watch yeah it was yeah, the, you know have you thought of the fact that if you guys now granted this was a long time before youtube came about yeah but have you if you digitized these and started a backyard wrestling channel a, it's would illegal, be huge. but you guys would be huge yeah i remember there because we thought we were so clever being you know bywf mm-hmm. and then you google searched or not even google at the time whatever you searched there was a bywf thing up in canada yeah like and they they were putting their videos online digitized and i was like blown away that this technology existed. were you guys better no they were way better well, I don't know. I, I mean, we were all we were all pretty bad. They had better production value, obviously, by uploading their stuff and new right. stuff. But the really crazy thing was is that you know, again, you're commentating, you know, on matches that you w- that you may have been feuding with that person, so it wouldn't make sense. So like sometimes we had like stage names, and I don't remember. I don't. It, it was like not, the announcer's name. Yeah, it wasn't like held to very strongly, but like every so often you'd know that somebody had a feud or something, so you couldn't talk about it. And we took to calling Poe Mr. Roboto. <laughs> And there was a Mr. Roboto in this BYWF we found too. It was really bizarre. We were just not. It was you just weren't creative. You thought uh, you were being really creative. No, I mean I, I go didn't back. Have a character that fucked everybody else's That's, girlfriend. Though. This is pretty creative, though. I mean, for for a group of high school students to do this is pretty impressive. And what yeah. were you, what were you were you was this instilled on you by? Because I remember backyard wrestling being a movement in like yeah. the late nineties. Yeah. With like bootleg VHSs and DVDs and stuff. So is that what inspired you guys to do this? It, I think it all started around the same. It wasn't because ours wasn't. I mean. It, as any good, decent backyard federation, we had it, the occasional flaming box match with you know, some thumbtacks on the ground. Oh, it's like you put you fucking lit the ring on fire. <laughs> what well, yeah, just, well, yeah, you get cardboard boxes and you light them on fire or whatever. But again, we were also, <laughs> but again, again, let's dial it back on the expectations on that. We were not, we, we weren't the crazy like people jumping off trailers and literally lighting each other on fire. It was like, oh, we're doing this flaming box thing. We did it in a forest preserve during, when it had snowed in Chicago right. and everybody's wearing like 15 layers. It wasn't okay. really like, there was once Poe got burned. It wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad, but he laid in the box too long and you can hear his opponent say, Jesus, get off the box. <laughs> I, I want to, I just, you know what? I, 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 I I'm going to rescind my previous statement. I don't want to re- do anything to these. I think they're, they're going to be, they're going to exist fine on their own. I don't think we need to voice them over at all. No, I don't think we have to do anything to the, the footage. I just think that we have to add this to the checklist of the documentary, which I would call Ken Burns uh, presents Greg Miller's yeah. psychosis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just want you to know that Colin at the end of that really, really, really dark tunnel, we're going to be changed men. No, absolutely. And I, my, my most, most exciting thing about, uh, Ken Burns presents Greg Miller Psychosis is that we're going to eventually get a letter from Ken Burns being like, why is my name in the title? <laughs> we have to do the Ken Burns like yeah. photos, but it's just Greg. It's and my, you look, it's like my and old journal. The P is going like, like almost animated right behind his bed. Gross. You went too far. Sorry, guys. That what was your everyone. superpower or your special move in a video game? Oh, are we still talking about this? I think we're beyond that. Oh, Greg. we're done it? Yeah, All right, yeah. that's done. All right, yeah. fine.